Greetings, welcome to Facts About Everything. I'm your host, James Egan. Today on Space Week, we'll be looking at Saturn. Saturn is named after the Roman god of agriculture. His Greek name was Cronus. On average, Saturn is 889 million miles from the Sun. At its closest, it's 839 million miles, and at its furthest, it's 938 million miles. At its closest, Saturn is 746 million miles from Earth. It takes one hour, 19 minutes, and three seconds for the Sun's light to reach Saturn. A day on Saturn is 10 hours and 39 minutes. It takes Saturn 29.45 years to orbit the Sun. Saturn's diameter is 75,000 miles. 755 Earths could fit into Saturn. Saturn moves 8 miles per second. Saturn's average temperature is minus 178 degrees Celsius. Saturn's core is 11,700 degrees Celsius, which is just over double the heat of Earth's core. Saturn bulges at the equator much like Earth. However, Saturn bulges a full 10% more at the equator than at the poles. It's very noticeable if you use a telescope. Earth's equatorial bulge is only 42.77 kilometers. However, Saturn's bulge is 11,808 kilometers, which is the largest equatorial bulge in the entire solar system. There's a hurricane that has been raging on Saturn since at least 2013. The hurricane is 12,500 miles across. That's 20 times larger than any recorded hurricane on Earth. Even the eye of the hurricane is 1,250 miles across. The wind in this hurricane moves at 300 miles per hour. Earth's hurricanes are powered by warm oceans and dissipate over cold waters. Saturn doesn't have oceans. As a result, scientists don't know how Saturn's hurricanes can exist. In 2010, a storm was discovered in the northern hemisphere of Saturn. The storm was so big that it literally wrapped around the planet, measuring nearly 200,000 miles in length. Saturn was observed by Assyrians in 800 BC. Four spacecraft have visited Saturn. Galileo discovered Saturn's rings. Unfortunately, his telescope wasn't advanced enough for him to figure out what they were. He thought the structure may have been three planets merged together. Dutch physicist Christian Huygens deduced that Saturn had rings in 1655. He also discovered the moon, Titan. And just to show off, he also pioneered the use of pendulums and clocks. Way to go, Christian Huygens. Even though I'm most certainly butchering your name. Saturn's rings are made of countless clumps of ice. Although it's the second biggest planet, Saturn is the least dense. It's so light, it would float on water. I know every four-year-old knows that fact, but I just I have to say it, okay? So, just chill. Saturn is twice as far away from the Sun as Jupiter is. Saturn's rings measure 155,000 miles across. That's two-thirds the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Each ice rock that makes up Saturn's rings only measures about 10 meters. Although Saturn's most famous for its rings, Astronomers aren't sure why it has them. The most common theory is that it had a huge moon that got destroyed by an asteroid or a comet. Saturn has three main rings. They are called A, B, and C. I know astronomy is the coolest thing ever, but astronomers are the worst people in the world at coming up with creative names for space. B is the biggest ring, measuring 1,600 miles wide. There is a 3,100 mile gap between B and C. This gap is known as the Cassini division. Millions of years in the future, Saturn will absorb its own rings. This is what Saturn's atmosphere sounds like. At this moment, Saturn has 62 official moons. 53 are named. I know I named the Jupiter moons out loud, but I'm not going to do that this time. Because most of them are named after Norse gods, and I can't pronounce Mundil, Fari, Bergelmord, Hyroken. Yeah, it's, that's just not going to happen. I'll just embarrass myself. The moon Iapetus is shaped like a walnut. Hyperion looks like a block of styrofoam. Hyperion was discovered by William Cranch Bond. He was one of the first astronomers in America and, and discovered this moon in spite of poverty from birth and having no formal education. He eventually became the first director of the Harvard College Observatory. The moon Mimas looks suspiciously similar to the Death Star from Star Wars. That's no moon. It- Oh wait, no, it's a moon. Saturn's biggest moon is Titan, measuring 3,200 miles across. Although Titan was discovered in 1655, it didn't have a name until 1847, nearly 200 years later. Titan is the only moon to have an atmosphere. Satellites have landed on Titan's surface and have deduced that it has an underground ocean of liquid water. Dr. Ralph Lawrence at the Lunar or Planetary Science Convention wants to build a submarine to explore Titan's waters. 
NASA are strongly considering this idea. Enceladus reflects all of the sun's light, making it the shiniest moon in the solar system. Enceladus has geysers that spew ice into the atmosphere. These geysers develop in chasms and are known as tiger stripes. The geysers of Enceladus are so powerful that they actually form one of Saturn's rings. The ice from the geyser makes what is known as the E-ring. Chiron is an alleged moon that Hermann Goldschmidt claimed to see in 1861, but it hasn't been seen since. Themis was supposedly sighted in 1905 by astronomer William Pickering. No one else has ever seen it, and it's unlikely Themis or Chiron exist. Usain Bolt's speed would allow him to fly on Saturn's moon Titan. Get on it. The Cassini spacecraft has been orbiting Saturn for over 11 years. This is the longest any spacecraft has surveyed an outer planet. It should run out of power this year. And finally, the number one reason that astronomers give to explain what made them become astronomers is, I saw Saturn through a telescope. Special thanks to these fine people for all their help. Thanks for watching. See you again.